Are you afraid of breaking bad news? About to break. Bad news. Do you want to come out to your parents without making an emotional Twitter video? Your daughter? She's a lesbian. Did you fuck Alyssa? Oh, uh, he fucked Alyssa. Introducing John Breaks Bad News. I'm sure one thing we all have in common here is we share similar memories of, of when we were younger and perhaps our parents sat us down and had to unfortunately explain that the family pet had passed away or perhaps an elderly relative had kicked the bucket or that your dad had gambled away all our money and that loan sharks were coming to take away your race car bed and your toys and your N64 and you're gonna have to sleep on the floor or on an itchy hard carpet underneath a shitty dirty blanket and just pretend you're playing Mario 64 just pretend it's all in there it's all in there <laughs> <laughs> one thing I dread is that if I have kids when I'm older and a similar thing happens and I have to sit them down and have to be the bearer of bad news, it's gonna absolutely destroy me. How 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 do you prepare for that? There's there's no parent school where you prepare for that shit. Hey, I'm home from a lovely long day at primary school. Ha oh hey dad, son, you better take a seat. What? What's wrong, Papa? I've never seen you so worried before. She found out, Kyle. Wait. She found out about the bathwater. But my college fund, we spent nine grand on the game of go bathwater. Where am I meant to go to college now? What am I meant to bathe in? <laughs> okay, so, okay. I'm no longer because John is here to save the day. I'm John and I'm trying to break some bad news. Hi Molly, I'm calling in. I'm John and I break bad news on. Uh, Kick wanted me to call you, tell you maybe you should get tested for herpes because he got tested for herpes, came back that he had herpes. Sorry, bud. I came across this post on Facebook the other day by a guy called John on a page called John Breaks Bad News, where he had um, had another very successful customer got hired to tell this kid his parents are getting divorced. Another satisfied customer and another job well done. Message me if you're about to severely impede on your child's life and happiness and making question his love is even real but don't have the heart to do it to his face. I'm John and I do the bad news with a smile. <laughs> it's just a big messy beard. Just imagine. Okay, Timmy, we've got something to tell you, but um, I just want you to sit on the steps and uh, and John here is, is, is gonna come explain it. And then this stranger with this big scruffy beard comes out who you've never seen in your life before and sits you down and go, I'm really sorry, mate, but uh, it's not working. So this post got more shares than it did reactions. And I appreciate all the heartless bastards who shared this post because now I've been enlightened with John who breaks bad news. Oh, his page was literally created five days ago. Wow, and he's already got almost 30,000 likes. What can I say? John has found a niche. How, how are you meant to argue with that? I had no idea this page had just been created five days ago, so I guess we'll go right to the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> so this is John. The, the face of your business has got to be... You know, let's find out something. Tips on becoming a successful business. 10 tips of becoming a successful entrepreneur. Have a solid business plan. I think John has pretty much got that down. Sorry, bud. All right. Okay, so you have to you, could you leave a review on my page? Try to prepare yourself mentally and practically. Well, I, I feel like John just doesn't have a heart. Or well, maybe he does. That's why he's doing it. Hmm. I commend that. Prepare for financial challenges. That's, a, that's an interesting one. I mean, what financial challenges could come with John's bad news? I, I suppose maybe if he delivered the news poorly and somebody wanted to sue, I guess that's one. John, you gotta prepare. Think smart. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Now, I gotta disagree with that one because really John is the person that other people are asking for help. He is the sole bearer of the bad news. That's why he's so successful in just five days. It's a five day business plan. I was hoping one of the tips would be like just present yourself in a professional manner and I was gonna say I think John's already nailed that one if you got bad news I will tell the person who needs to hear it for you who shared this somebody just shared this on its own like it pops up with a chat window can you tell me more about your business I suppose we'll find out okay so it looks like this is John's initial call to action are you bad at giving people bad news 
Do you want a breakup of your husband and don't know how to say it? Did your kid's dog die whilst they're away at their grandparents' house and you don't feel like doing the whole shtick where you go and find a dog that looks just like the old dog except for one distinguishing feature that you try and replicate with some kind of paint but the dog runs through the sprinklers and the paint washes off and oh, the jig is up and you gotta tell your kids about the dead dog anyway? You know, now he says it, I have actually had that issue a few times. I wish John was around back then. Maybe you just ran out of mayo and you're tight on cash and can't replace it so now your roommate is gonna be stuck eating dried tuna sandwich because you're a garbage human and can't stand confrontation well, have no fear, because John the bad news guy is here. I love breaking bad news to people, so if you got some bad news that you need to give to a loved one or even a mortal enemy, hit me up. I love that shit. Now accepting clients, and he's got an email. He's actually got an email address that he made. I don't, I don't understand. Did he start his page just assuming that people were gonna pick up on it, like, straight away? <laughs> Do you think he just opened it and he was like, maybe I'll get, like, one email a week or something, I don't know. Oh my god, he'll deliver bad news to anyone for free? <sighs> John, you're the hero we always wanted, but never deserved. There's actually people asking, like, if he's interested in a partnership. What? Tom, you should get this fella to send Andrew a message saying he's a soft cock dodging the boys. <laughs> I'll message him now. All these lads, these lads are off the- off the chain, off the chain. Woo! Oh, slow down. These, these slats are savage. I was actually responding to one. I wish you were in business when I got divorced last year. <laughs> I'm sure you have other people in your life that you've been procrastinating on telling how you've been a disappointment. Great. He'll be around for your next divorce. Might need your services soon if it doesn't work out with my partner. You probably won't. Why wait? Order today. John is a true entrepreneur, I gotta say. I actually wonder how much he'll charge, like, after it stops being free. I think he said, yeah, it expires on August 1st, so we have the rest of this month. And then after that, I wonder how much you charge. Like, sure, it's like the standard five bucks for, for like a Facebook message or text of bad news. 10, 15 bucks for, for video bad news. I don't, I don't even want to know how much it is to travel to your house and tell your kid that you're getting a divorce. <laughs> He's actually calling someone. Hi, is this Chase? Hi, I'm John. Uh, I run a service where I break bad news to people for other people. Okay. And uh, your girlfriend, Brianna, Hired me to break some bad news to you. She's been cheating on you. Oh, fuck. Yeah, and she wants it to be over now. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, sorry. You know who she's cheating on me with? What? Uh, some guy named Mike. <laughs> he knows the name. Really sorry to be the one to break this bad news to you, bud. You're not, John. This is your business. I, I'm just here to break the bad news. Okay. You have a good one, man. Just broke some bad news. <laughs> he said I'm a good one to the guy who told him that his girlfriend was cheating on with a guy called Mike. Oh, fuck. Professionalism is the most important part of the service we provide here at John Breaks Bad News. Jeez, only three days into the business venture and it's already a statement. Hey everybody, there seems to be some confusion about the service I offer and I want to clear some things up. I only do bad news, says John. If you want to tell your family about your new promotion, hire a goddamn clown. I do bad news, not... Good news. You need to tell multiple previous lovers that they may have gone to go get checked out. Oh, I wonder if he'd ever actually have to do that. I'm your guy to let them know you, they got hepatitis A through Z. I'm not gonna take on your gender reveal party unless your husband will cry if you have another girl. And it's another girl. I'd like to volunteer you some graphic design services for your cover photo at some point. What are you talking about? He doesn't need graphic design. It's it's perfect. Hey Zane, I'm John from John Breaks Bad News and your buddy Christopher asked me to deliver some bad news to you. I'm really sorry to have to be the one to tell you this, bud. But your pal Chris doesn't respect you anymore. Thinks you're a complete knob end and basically wants you to fuck off. Sorry, bud. Have a good day. This is very sad, but thanks for letting me know. <laughs> True professional. Direct, efficient, and leaves no room for questions. <laughs> I feel like if anybody actually asked questions, though, he'd be like, Hey, I, I'm just here to break the bad news. What else do you want me to say? Hey, Liv, my name is John. I run a company called John Breaks Bad News. Your sister hired me to break some bad news to you. Oh, what's the- Is that the fucking caterpillar from Bugs Life? <laughs> what's the news? You have lice. Sorry, bud. And they're my little buddies, and I love them. That's pretty fucked. Have a good one, bud. <laughs> oh, fuck. Your mum's dead. Damn, that's harsh. She passed like two weeks ago. Who? Who hired him for this? Sometimes the news is like... <laughs> shit. No, shit. Fuck. Come on, guys. It's it's pretty simple. John breaks bad news. Not good news. Doesn't do good news, and he doesn't do apologies. You want to tell your mum you're finally moving out of the basement and getting married to a real woman and throwing out your waifu? Hire a fucking clown. Maybe John could have a sister business where it's John's friend the clown provides good news. <laughs>
sometimes the bad news is obvious. Did you break it to my ex, Larissa, that I haven't stopped thinking about her, even after all this time? And I just wanted to talk to her again. And may mayhap get a second chance? I thought about doing it myself, but simply put, John, I'm too afraid. Oh. Even if it adds a middleman and breaks my achy heart in the event that she says, Dude, heck no, lol, I have a BF. I'll at least have an answer, and it'll make my life so much easier. Don't worry, John is here to save the day. Let me save you and me a lot of time. It didn't work before. It's not gonna work now. You'll probably die alone. That's the bad news. Thanks, John. Hey, he does what it says on the can. Bada bing, bada boom, John breaks bad news. There you go, that's your slogan. You can have that one for free, John. That's until he breaks the news that he doesn't want any of this. At all. I would like you to inform my good friend Shelby that she is in a coma and needs to wake up. Contact info for Shelby. Wait. Gerald. You're never gonna believe this. But someone just messaged me telling me that you are actually the one in the coma. What? It can't be! But they want you to go towards the light. Sorry, bud. Oh, that John! Just breaking bad news again! Oh, oh man, is this is a double doozy? May I deliver you some bad news? I think we're soulmates. I don't think so, man. I'm married to the bad news. He's a dedicated man. He's married to the job. John breaks bad news again! The future looks bleak. Hey man, can you tell my future self five minutes for now? I won't ever succeed in life. Cheers. Hey bud, this is future me. Unfortunately, your plans are not succeeding, aren't going as well as you thought. There is a cybernetic robot force destroying the world, and literally bud, you're not gonna believe this. But you are the only one who can stop it. All happens about five years from today. So you might want to do some setups or something. I suppose he did deliver bad news? It's not the news he wanted. Why did he send this at 2.35 a.m.? You might want to do some setups. This just hit me. Oh my god, okay. This this was the one I looked at last night, and I was like, fuck, this is, this is peak John. Breaking bad news. <laughs> bad news delivered. Another satisfied customer. Can you please tell my husband that I've given up on us ever fixing our marriage, and I'm filing for divorce? He's blocked me on Facebook, or I'd link you to his page, LMAO. Thanks, bud. How can you still be married? And he's blocked you on Facebook, what the fuck? So he finds the curly-haired, 90s grunge-looking guy. This is the one. Yep, wow, he has a girlfriend now. What the fuck, Alameo? The bad news goes both ways, I guess. Sorry, ma'am. That's why I'm the bad news guy. Would you still like me to deliver the bad news? To be fair, I did run away with his older brother, so I think this evens the score. Yeah, dude. What the fuck? What? Ah! And it's a cry laughing emoji. Hey man, I'm John from John Breaks Bad News. I break bad news for people who don't want to do it themselves. Your wife has hired me to tell you that she's given up on ever fixing your shitty marriage and she's finally for divorce. Also, she knows about your girlfriend. So, I guess the bad news is you even out the score after she ran away with your better looking brother. Anyway, sorry bud. Alameo, <laughs> thanks, now fuck off. And then he blocked him. Fuck. I love it. I love it. Jesus. Not only a satisfied customer, but a satisfied fan as well. I love you and your work. Uh, I think of you as more of a friend. <sighs> so it says I can hire you out to serve my baby mama after I file for custody of our kid. John, you're getting yourself in hot water, my friend. This is, this is getting a little bit too tense. I think I'm gonna message John. Hey, John. Love your page. I appreciate. You being the bearer of bad news rather than us regular people who just aren't cut out for the bad news life. Please, could you deliver some bad news f for me to my e-girlfriend? She thinks I'm a furry. I'm actually a scaly... Is that a thing? A scaly? A furry term used to describe both anthropomorphic tree- Okay. Reptile and amphibian variety. Okay. My fur sona. Or scale sona, if you will. <laughs> is actually a lizard and not a coyote. Like she has thought for the last seven years. We were hoping to meet soon. I don't want to startle her. When she finds out, I've been catfishing her with another man's fursuit. And then I'm just going to link him to one of my friend's accounts. So, um, thanks for watching. You look. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. My name's been Knockout Wolf. I'm going to update you on how John breaks the bad news to my furry eagle friend of seven years. <laughs>
amazing service. My girlfriend broke up with me, but instead of telling it herself, she sent John. It's been really good conversation, and I feel way better when John told me that she slept with four of my best friends and my little brother. Cheers, John. Keep going, man. Appreciate it. Breaking bad news to children has become a sort of speciality to me. I don't know him. I just deliver... I just deliver bad news. <laughs>